thrust levers are now set to idle. This turns the auto thrust off. Note that on the FMA, the white auto thrust indication is no longer displayed. The FMA auto thrust column is blank. On the FCU, the auto thrust push button is now extinguished. We have just seen how to turn the auto thrust off by setting the thrust levers back to idle for landing. The recommended procedure to set the auto thrust off in flight in order to avoid any thrust change at auto thrust disconnection is 1. Move the thrust levers back so that the thrust lever position symbol roughly matches the present N1 or EPR. 2. Press the instinctive disconnect push button located on the thrust levers. Note, pressing at least one push button for more than 15 seconds will inhibit the auto thrust for the remainder of the flight, including alpha floor protection. When the auto thrust is off during flight, in order to turn it on again, press the auto thrust push button on the FCU with the thrust levers in or below climb detent. Note, you can disconnect the auto thrust by pressing the auto thrust push button on the FCU. This is not the standard recommended procedure.